and welcome to WASH Talks, organized as part of the Biannual Steering Committee of the Water Supply and Sanitation Collaborative Council. My name is Eileen Palmer, and over the next three days, we're going to be interviewing experts from the field and dedicated members of the WSSCC family. I'm pleased to start off our WASH Talks speaking with two of my colleagues, Ali Safranajad, Head of Monitoring and Evaluation, and also Valter Kusumont, Head of Resource Mobilization. I'll start off by asking Ali some questions. Can you tell us about your role here at WSSCC and what you do as our Head of Monitoring and Evaluation? Sure, so my unit uh, works on planning, monitoring, evaluation, and reporting. So in terms of planning, we support the organization in developing a coherent and rational work plan and monitoring that work plan to achieve the results that we aim to achieve. In terms of monitoring, we support the countries uh, where we have grants and in the programs where we uh, implement um, uh, sanitation and hygiene activities to monitor the results of those and to make sure that we are on track and we achieve the results. We also do evaluations both at the country level but also of the strategic plan. And in terms of reporting, we support the organization in developing the donor reports and the annual reports and other um, presentations for key uh, stakeholders and key events throughout the year. Great, thank you. And you joined us earlier this year. Uh, what was your first impression of WSSCC when you started? Uh, in terms of uh, people, I found it, uh, that it was quite diverse and young and dynamic. Uh, in terms of data and evidence, I was quite uh, pleased to see that there's so much activities in terms of data generation and lots of sources of uh, information that we are tapping into triangulating to have a better understanding about how the programs are working, how to make them more effective, and how to analyze them more deeply to understand and feed into the global processes. And now, your main focus areas. So right now, <coughs> we are looking at the next strategic period of the organization from 2021 to 2025. And my unit is working in providing the intelligence and evidence generation that will feed into how that program, how that strategy will be designed in terms of the typology, the people and populations that we need to focus on to bring them to at least basic sanitation. So we're working also in developing a monitoring framework for that strategic plan and making sure that we have the necessary evidence to know that we're on track and that we're accountable for the results that we aim to achieve. Thank you. Yeah. One more question. You have to answer just like that. If WSCC was a sport, what sport would it be? So uh, I would say um, running. And, and why? <laughs> Well, um, I think uh, besides the fact that we're all always running and uh, we have our eyes on the goal, I think um, the work that we do is somehow foundational to all of the development areas, so similar to how running is uh, foundational to all sports. Um, I think uh, sanitation has been uh, around f since the time of Jon Snow pulling the, you know, the uh, racket out of the ground in London and it's been an ongoing effort throughout history to ensure that we have sanitation and hygiene for all and I feel like running is uh, a good metaphor for the, the work that we do in that in that sense. Thank you Ali. Over to Wouter. Good morning. Good morning. You, uh, you lead business development. What is the rewarding part of your job and, and what do you see as a challenge as well? Uh, yes, needed. So I work on, on uh, business development, trying to uh, develop new product lines for the organization in the years to come. Um, challenging and rewarding, let me start with the, the challenging part. Um, sanitation and, and hygiene is a topic that is really, really very important and ha that has impact on many other SDGs, uh, health, education, uh, employment, productivity, etc. So it's a very important topic. What is a bit um, challenging maybe sometimes is that for many policy makers, decision makers, governments, etc., um, it is not a topic that is so much on, on their agenda. So it is really difficult uh, to appeal to them and, 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 and to convince them in spite of the, the, the really important repercussions and, and that it has on their own investments, 
on education and, and, and sanitation and uh, education and health and, and, and other topics so it's it's challenging to uh, convince them of that uh, it is rewarding at the same time if we can uh, convince them and, and, and make them understand that an investment in sanitation and, and hygiene really has has, uh, has many benefits and has a, uh, is, is a really good investment so when we get there and when we can convince uh, partners that probably don't always feel very uh, f familiar with the topics and probably feel a little bit shy speaking about such a topic that is not always very appealing to the public if you can convince them to speak about it, that's really something uh, very important to us and a, and a source of pride. And uh, I know that with your work, you work with a lot of organizations and external partners. Mm -hmm. Can you give us an example of a private sector partnership? Yes, yeah, so indeed we work with, um, with a number of uh, partners and, and the private sector is, is uh, one of these partners. When, when the SDGs were developed, it was it was really explained by the Secretary General that everybody and, and on all types of, of society have a role to play in achieving the, the SDGs. Just the public sector won't be able to, to, to bridge that gap to, to the targets that we, have, that we have set to ourselves. So it's really important to have everybody on board and we see a lot of uh, benefits and collaboration possible with the private sector. Uh, just for, for sanitation and, and hygiene, we see that uh, the productivity, and I spoke about that before, but the productivity of uh, employees really gets impacted by, by, by sanitation and hygiene. And, and, and then we inversely see that, for instance, having good sanitation would allow for an additional 20, billion, 20 million productive working days, for instance. That's, that's a past... Uh, 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 past research that, that was conducted. So there's really a lot uh, in it for the private sector itself. Um, they also feel that uh, if, if we can break the taboos on sanitation and hygiene, it would also help them uh, to, to market their product. So it's opening markets as well for them. Mm -hmm. So we can really use the private sector uh, to, to bring our me message forward. Uh, to, to advocate on our behalf, to do campaigning, but we can also uh, benefit from the private sector experience in terms of technical solutions. Mm. And what we are doing now is, is, is exactly that. We're working together at the policy level, we bring bringing their, their, their best practices on board, we are using the business platforms to, to bring that message, and also we are uh, working with the private sector on co corporate social responsibility. So there's quite a, a, a lot happening. Very, very much. Mm. <laughs> so, how would you describe WSCCC's culture? Um, when I arrived, and arrived about six months ago, I, I, I was surprised by uh, the fact that the organization is, is quite small in terms of staffing uh, and still does so much. And, and having a small group of people that is really dynamic, as, as, as Ali said, really brings new ideas and uh, creativity and, and what I especially like about the organization is the idea of, of looking for new ways of working, mm -hmm. thinking outside of the box. Uh, and, and a small organization like this or a small secretariat really allows to look for new ways of working and innovation and, and, and research, etc. So that's quite uh, exciting. Good, mm -hmm. good. Happy to have you both. One mm -hmm. final question to Wouter. If WSSCC was an animal, what would it be and why? An animal? Yes. Um, I would say a fly. Okay. Uh, we are very small, but we carry an important message. Thank you both. <laughs>